to I guess the two tokens because I think if because if a cons if a, if he was a drone to consecrate now uh, he could weapon the haunted creeper then co then consecrate so he has done that so he protects his creeper which is good I think that's good enough uh, for a turn four for him yeah I think he realizes that there's uh, there's no consecration whatsoever. Uh, and now, like, Owl doesn't get too much value. You could go for the Sludge Belcher, but uh, you would have to figure your opponent probably has some way to deal with it. Even though it might not be the most pretty way. Well, right now, all he really has is a Doom Yard. He needs to pick up something else, maybe another powerful weapon, maybe a, an abusive. He goes into the Owl, actually. So, Owl... Owl has a lot of value in this match if it gets later on. Uh, he needs to decide, is it more important to push damage here? Maybe it silence this or just trade into it? Or is it more important to keep this Owl for Tyrion? I don't think you can, like, you just basically have to assume your opponent doesn't have Tyrion. Or that by turn 8, your board will be so strong that Tyrion is not actually a, like a valid play. And I like just getting in damage, especially because you have that burst in your hand from the Doom Guard. Uh, you basically force your opponent to have a quality consecration, or he won't be able to deal with this kind of board. And this kind of like seems like that kind of board where um, Emperor Thorzen might be like the play that you have to go for in order to have a chance at winning, because none of the other plays are like the feel like winning plays at least. No, they're all a bit lackluster, really, aren't they? I mean, the quality doesn't really achieve anything. You could go for a knife juggler with a token, but again doesn't do anything. Owl, again, not very effective, so go for the Forest in here. Hope you get a good draw next turn, or Hosh doesn't be, isn't able to finish you off. Well, actually, um, next turn it'll actually be really good, because the combination of Equality plus um, Knife Juggler, Monster for Battle, and then Owl, or in, in not in that order, of course, you probably want to Owl, then Knife Juggler, or sorry, Owl, Equality, Knife juggler, muster for battle, and you can probably like clear most of the board, if not all of the board, from your opponent. I wouldn't. I I I would probably play the knife juggler first. Him the knife juggler going to, down to one health, I think, is worth being able to clear another minion at this point. So you could like knife juggler, owl something, uh, any quality. Uh, knife juggler, equality, owl. No, owl equality. Oh yeah, you'd have to. Sorry. My mistake, I'm getting m mumbled here with rules. <laughs> yeah, Knife Juggler, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Knife Juggler, Owl, Equality, Monster for Battle seems like the uh, the right order. So yeah, and then, and that's that's only, you've already used up six mana, so you can fit in like, I don't think Paladin has anything for one mana, so that's fair. But this kind of plays around that play because the Imps will probably spawn one ones anyway. And you don't even have enough juggles to go for that kind of play. And he's still got that Doom Guard in hand. He he kept hold, he kept hold of it, and it's going to pay off here because it would have been a, a stronger play if Doom Guard was available to take out. But like you said, these these imp gang bosses are just going to be a nuisance. Yeah, just you can very strong player. One, girl. You can silence one, uh, but is it enough? As long as one knife hits that, the more knives that hit the unsilenced one, there's just more chaotic it becomes becomes a weasel. Let me think. Mm. So assuming all four knives go into minions, um, at least I believe two um, two imps will spawn. So that's effectively seven minions. So there's going to be three minions left at the end of this turn, at least. Oh, of course the weapon hit. So there will be uh, two minions at least, but possibly three. And all the knives knives are really good. He actually goes for the shredder instead. More of a power play. So three that's uh two more damage in order to win the game. Argus, that's not enough. Hmm, I think you push here with Argus and then set up for lethal next turn. And you can egg as well, which I'm not sure what would be more. I guess you, the more important thing is is doing that five damage right now. So if you are going to see uh, two imps push for five, uh, you'll have five left. And if you lay on hands, you lay on hands. Yeah, That's stuff you can do really. Yeah, I like it. Um, you put your opponent on. You have to force your opponent to have lay on hands. Force him to have uh, Tyrion or Sludge Belcher. 
And if not, you just win the game. Shielded mini bot is not it though. And that seems like it's over unless Pilot of Shredder can come up with something. It's down to the Shredder. The if he has the the luck Forsen had of his shredders in Starlight the other day, he'll be able to clear the board. He'll get a Doomsayer. Okay, Doomsayer um Doomsayer wouldn't even help. He needs some kind of taunt. Oh that's true. Or, yeah. or uh, Vitality totem. So he needs one of the three taunts that come out of uh, Pilot Shredder, which is a, a Neutron, um, the uh, Bear Cub, the Robo Bear Cub, or the um, Frost Wolf Grunt, or he needs a Vitality Totem. But he yeah. already didn't make the decision to go for that kind of play, so he's just dead. Poge is gonna move on to our future tournament. The pros have showed uh, been really strong in this tournament today. I think. Uh, apart, they took it up to 3 2, uh, Hoj versus Tom, so both the pro players, taken down to the wire, and then against their, their qualifier opponents, it's just been a clean sweep for both of them. Yeah. I was, uh, giving his signature um, emotes that we've seen and loved from him at Via Game House Cup, and he knows with that one card in, in his hand, he's going to win the game. I wonder if he's going to go for the flame up as well, but no, he's just, he's like, no, I'll just win with this one card. Weasel knows he's out, but you know what? He had a great showing today. He'll still have a possibility to qualify in the future via Geico points. And Hoj and his parrot, Pidgey, will go move on to the future tournament in the following week. So congrats to Hoj qualifying for yet another big tournament. Yeah, I can congratulations to all the players. You all played really well. Congratu congratulations to Tom as well, I think. I think Tom managed to kind of push up another uh, rank here. He got fourth last time, he got third this time, so he's he's actually progressed as well. So, yeah, so but a big congrats to Hoj for qualifying, of course. Getting those Geico points, those world championship points, and a, a bit of cash with it too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Congrats to everyone, basically, for playing in our tournament. And if you would like to play in our tournament, you can check out Liquid Hearth. Dot com for just the sign up for first as many tournaments as you want um, we're pretty much running tournaments throughout the rest of the uh, the week whether it be a uh, Onog summer circuit HCC qualifiers or even a tavern ball tournament which you can sign up for today and which I believe starts in a, an hour or two Aquabad make sure you check that out as well um, if you want to support our tournament series, the Onog tournament series you can go to geico.onog.gg where you can get a geico quote and you can enter for a chance to win the official TSM PC, which is like just an amazing gaming PC. One of the best PCs of our time. Um, and also, I believe that does it for today. I can't think of anything else. Thank you, Aquablad, for uh, joining me today. Do you have any final shout-outs for the rest of the day? Uh, just a shout-out to my team, London Conspiracy, you know, for supporting me and the players I play with. But also, I'd just like to say that the reason Tom and Toj are where they are right now in level of play is playing in these tournaments and these qualifiers. They they grind them hard. They get a lot of experience, a lot of matchup knowledge, uh, just a lot of general play experience. And being able to play in a competitive environment quite frequently by playing in all these qualifiers is what what takes you up to the next level of player. So if you're one of these players who are looking to kind of break into the pro scene or kind of improve your game. It, enter these tournaments these are these are a golden opportunity for you to play a very strong range of players and get some experience yeah, very well said aquablad and i believe that wraps it up for today i think we're gonna host some challenge zone for today an awesome tournament with really fun rules but make sure you check us out make sure you follow us on twitter at uh, onog esports uh at liquid Mo liquid underscore monk and at aquablad hs and that's it for today We'll be seeing you next time.